the right trading strategy for 2017 and beyond. Again, you're attending a Theo Trade presentation, risk disclosure. I always throw this up here right off the bat. Uh, people get a little bit confused. We're not a financial advisor or a broker dealer. The reason they get a little bit confused is my previous 15 years in this business, well, that was actually spent at both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. So many of you may or may not have attended uh, over the years, uh, you know, a session done by TD Ameritrade or even before that uh, Thinkorswim. I ran the education for Thinkorswim and then eventually TD Ameritrade and the 7 million clients there. So I always throw that up there. I am no longer uh, a registered representative. Let me give you a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Don Kaufman. I'm the co-founder here of Theotrade. <clears throat> I've been actually trading options since the late 90s. I was uh, 22 years old about three weeks outside of college, and I got an offer to come to Chicago. Not a lot of 22-year-olds get that offer. Well, a little background is uh, I have a bunch of family members that are also traders uh, in Chicago at the time, and they said, hey, you know, you're three weeks out of college. Do you want a summer job? Yep. So I took it. At 22 years old, you put a kid down in that environment at 22, they're never, ever going to leave, uh, which I didn't. So uh, I... You know, thought about doing medical school. That's out the window. My mom was heartbroken. Nevertheless, I've been trading for about 18 years. Um, one of the best pieces of advice I ever got early in this, uh, early in the job, is they said, "Come here to Chicago, learn everything you can. Then the trading floor is going to be gone. So learn everything you can, and then get out of here." And it was really a piece of advice they gave me in the first, I don't know, few months of me uh, working uh, for a firm. And I followed it and I got actually, I got an offer in early 2000, like, you know, pretty much like the peak of the internet bubble. Uh, it was actually right around March or April of 2000. A couple of guys I knew from the OEX trading pit, hey, you know, we're starting a, uh, a brokerage firm. We need a young guy like yourself. I was 24 years old at the time. They said, come work for us. And boom, I did. And that was, uh, you know, I spent from roughly 2000, 2001, all the way until two years ago. In fact, my uh, my last day, my last day at TD Ameritrade was actually February 1st of 2015. So I'm out of there exactly two years. So uh, yes, I do have 16 years of Thinkorswim platform experience, but listen, I know a lot of the different trading applications out there. There's a lot of them. And two years out of the business, you know, I've learned a lot of the other trading applications. So that's a little bit about my uh, my background over here. Um, yes, I've done some of the CNBC tours out there. Um, I like this one for this evening because I was the short seller in uh, in Apple. That wouldn't have worked out too well this evening. Apple is actually up about four bucks in the uh, in the post market here. But um, hey, listen, if you're going to go up against somebody, go up against Mister Wonderful. And this is when Apple was trading in and around the $130 mark. So I was short, he was long. Uh, I, I'm still claiming victory at this point. Well, given the fact that Apple's still under $130. So let's, uh, let's get right into it this evening. Well, what you're gonna learn tonight in this presentation. <clears throat> Number one, an introduction to pairs trading, a market neutral strategy designed to generate returns in really any market condition. We're gonna to learn to execute trades based upon statistical opportunities and not what I call red and green arrows and guesswork over here. Now, if you guys have never heard the term pairs trading, it's gonna be a little bit of a new concept. I'm gonna take you through that. One of the reasons that I really wanted to do a class this evening on pairs trading is the opportunities right now in, in the idea of pairs trading are phenomenal, okay? Listen, you guys have been tuned in and probably around markets for a while. Whether you've been involved in this business for three months or whether you've been involved in this business three years, some of you guys have probably had 30 years of experience. Right now, you can turn on any major media channel. And when it comes to finance, all they're talking about is what they call correlations. So we're going to talk about discover and build correlations, charts, and trades because the correlations right now are completely, they're maddening. Okay, so we're also going to talk about how you can, you know, pairs trade with a small account, large account, retirement account. So we will talk about stocks, options, futures, regardless of experience level. We want to make sure that everybody understands how to build these trades, regardless 
of you know account size out there. And again, why correlations are snapping back in alignment like never before, it really is one of the kind of pinnacle times to really learn about pairs trading. I mean, whether you whether you guys look at bonds, or you look at financials, you know, we're gonna go into a lot of it tonight. I hope you guys really enjoy this because I am into pairs trading, have been ever since I got involved in this uh, in this business. It's kind of where I started. So the one thing I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a little bit though before we dive really deeply into this, you know, I always ask the question: Are you ready to learn? Um, this class tonight and the course material, it can be a little bit challenging to learn. All right. This, this is not going to be some chart pattern. Like people are still into like, you know, follow the bouncing ball. This is not going to be a chart pattern to follow the bouncing ball with red and green flashing arrows. You know, it's, it's ironic because to this day, people are still looking for that quote unquote, the system. Okay. The Holy grail out there. It, I mean, it's getting ridiculous. You realize that in today's marketplace, that there's computer systems that are writing their own algorithms. That means the computer is generating its own computer system to trade markets over there. I'm going to tell you right now, if you really want to learn this business, you got to be able to put forth some effort. This ain't going to be instant coffee, instant tea. Okay. It's a skill set and it's all based on statistical data and correlations. So again, we're, we're about to discuss it involves trade logic, it involves strategy and reversion to the mean trading. And I do challenge you because I've, you know, listen, I go to different trade shows. I listen to all kinds of stuff in the industry. You guys got to realize I ran the education for the largest pool of clients in the entire retail world. And I've seen everything and it's maddening out there. Everybody's like, well, we developed an indicator that, that what? You think it's going to be faster or better? Okay, then, then somebody like Goldman Sachs, they're going to spend billions in technology. You got to go a little deeper than that. You got to go in a little bit of statistics, a little bit of correlations, and that's what this Paris trading is really about. So I'm going to blank the slate over here. Forget everything you know about the markets. This is kind of important. You know, people come in here and they always have preconceived notions. So again, the market neutral strategy we're about to discuss and employ, it's a very different approach to markets. Okay. Again, Please, for the next hour or so, it'll be about an hour tonight, try to forego any knowledge set, again, or preconceived notions of the marketplace. Some of you even may have experience with the idea of pairs trading or or along those lines. Well, we're gonna we're gonna twist that a little bit. And that's your brain pretty much walking away. All right. Direction can help you know more. Okay. So traders and investors alike are really they're characteristically trained an attempt to distinguish what the market's next move is going to be, okay? I mean, think about the truth to that. Everything you're bombarded by, financial media, trading technology, nearly everything in the markets is about directional bias. Well, direction of the markets or individual stocks means nothing this evening. We're all about relationships. That's market relationships. It's not Tinder, okay? That's This is what happens with relationships, I I don't know why I put that there, but it's quite amusing to me. So really, again, you're bombarded by, you know, what is Apple going to do? What is Apple going to do? You know, nobody looks at stuff like, hey, what's Apple doing in relation, for instance, to Google? Or I'll give you another one. What's the financial sector right now doing versus the S&P? Right? Start to think about different ideas like that because you got to realize there's great, great returns, okay, in looking at places other than per se the obvious and the obvious right now is difficult you know it's hard to say like is the market going to go up or down yes a couple of basic skills before we dive deeply into pairs it's what i call basic skills redefined there's three basic items you got to understand you have to understand what a stock is most of you are going to be okay at this point so you know i uh we'll, we'll put a check mark next to that what a stock is so but we have to know how to buy a stock, which is a long position. And that's, for instance, going out, right, and buying like 100 shares, okay, and how to sell a stock short, aka a short position. Now, that would be going out there and selling 100 shares. Now, what we're going to do tonight, we are going to talk about shorting stock. But if people immediately, when they see short stock, they're like, whoa, 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 but I can't do that in my IRA. Don't you worry about your retirement accounts. Got to remember 
I know about the brokerage business. I know about retirement accounts. I know about 401ks and IRAs and all your mutual funds over there. Again, I spent 15 years putting together some of those products for a very large brokerage firm. So don't worry about it, but I need you to understand what shorting is. And what that basically means is you're borrowing stock, okay? For what reason? You're borrowing stock to sell it. You're like, but I never owned it. Exactly, you're borrowing it. You go out there and you sell a stock at 100. Where do you want the stock to go? Anybody? You go out there and you sell a stock at 100. Where do you want the stock to go? By the way, these are not rhetorical questions. Jump in here. Listen, hey, there's a couple of hundred people on the chat room. I think it's worthwhile to just chat in. So what do you do? You sell the stock at 100. You want it to go. I like it. The first uh, the first one that came in here, I want it to go to zero. <laughs> that's, that's the right answer. All right, you want it to go down. So just to make that clear, because, you know, it's, again, some people don't get the idea of selling short out there. There's a lot of short selling going on right now in the markets. If you understand, really, the buy the stock, the short the stock, you'll be okay with this idea. All right, fresh stock in the markets. Now that we know nothing, we're ready to learn about the wonders of pairs trading. All right, I love this quote. I'm a blank slate. Therefore, I can create anything I want. You know, uh, a funny kind of story about this, by the way, this is a, an unknown author to the quote. Funny story about that is when I first got involved in trading, um, I was I was really young. Again, I was 22 years old. But, um, you know, people always ask me this question, like, did you have a degree in finance? No. Nah. Do you have a degree in this? No. Nah. Do you have a degree in statistics? No. Nah. You know, they wanted somebody working for them that knew nothing per se about the markets. They're like, oh, listen, kid, we'll teach you everything. You just have to, you know, be there. And I was like, okay, I get it. So I did a degree in molecular genetics. Would you would like fries with that? All right, that's what you could do with that degree. So let's get into this. Let's uh, talk a little bit about pairs trading. Here's the quintessential pairs trade, picking a soda fight. What do you like more, Coke or Pepsi? Come on, you can answer this one too. Huh? Coke or Pepsi people? Is anybody even allowed to drink soda anymore? <laughs> you know, I put this together and I was thinking about that afterwards. I'm like, nobody, uh, I don't think, uh, they don't let kids even drink soda anymore. Literally. And, you know, maybe things are a little different here in Scottsdale, Arizona, but most of the schools have banned soda products. That's what the world has come to. I know, right? That and they just tax the hell out of it if you live in a major city. <laughs> but with that, hey, uh, by the way, I like this. I don't drink soda. Okay. Uh, you know, okay, we continue on over here. Diet cherry Pepsi. All right. I'm, I'm all for it. By the way, I don't drink a lot of soda. I just like my caffeine. Okay. Any way I can get it. So the reason I bring this, this is like this almost quintessential pairs trade, if you will. So Coke versus Pepsi. I drew like grew up and it's true. I grew up drinking Coke. I grew up on in New York. All right. Way out on Long Island. I'm not like a, a city boy, but uh, I grew up in New York and you know, you grew up in New York and you drink Coca-Cola. Pepsi people, they're not allowed in my house, right? Where do they put the Pepsi people? They put them in Jersey. Eh? Eh? Oh, John, by the way, John has actually the right answer. John doesn't drink <laughs> Coke or Pepsi. He just drinks Bud Light, okay? Which is now no longer even an American company, but that's a totally different story. Anyway, you buy Coke, sell Pepsi. Again, Coke versus Pepsi is the epic battle, good versus evil. But let's look at this. How would it have played out over the last five years, right? So what you're looking at here is a nothing more than a comparison chart. It's a really, really simple idea. The comparison chart is just comparing two products, right? And ultimately, what I want you to see is product on the bottom here. This is Coke, the product on the top over here. This happens to be Pepsi. Okay. At various times of the last five years, Coke has outperformed Pepsi and vice versa. Okay. There have been dozens of opportunities to trade, okay, both Coke and Pepsi from either side. Now, in the end, Coke tastes better, but Pepsi has stayed in lockstep. What I wanted you to see primarily in this comparison chart, and again, when you're doing a comparison chart, it's comparing it on a percentage basis. Because sometimes you can have a stock like, for instance, you know, one stock might be trading 
at $41, the other stock might be trading for $103. Well, there's no way to compare those two other than on a percentage basis. And that's what a comparison chart is capable of doing. So at times, one product overperforms, one product underperforms, but there's great opportunities in the midst of this to take advantage of, and we're gonna learn what's called convergence and divergence. So to enter into pairs trading, what we've created between Coke and Pepsi is termed a pairs trade, right? Coke and Pepsi are traded against one another and the ebb and flow, okay? That's kind of what I call it, the ebb and flow of highly correlated products creates your trading opportunity. <gasps> this is the wrong type of pair, but they're a happy couple. All right, again, you have to have fun when you're putting together a PowerPoint presentation. But let's check this trade out, okay? How do you profit from a pair? Like really, how do you profit from this? In the aforementioned example, how can you profit or, or lose, we'll talk about losses, from the comparison of Coke versus Pepsi? Assume you buy Coke and sell Pepsi. Again, buy Coke, sell Pepsi, buy Coke, sell Pepsi. Here's the profit scenarios. And I'm gonna take you through a little bit of this because again, this is important to be understanding all right, some of the variations to be able to profit because what we're gonna move into is how to do this on a more regular basis, how to do this with options, with stocks, with futures, okay? This becomes relatively straightforward, but again, conceptually, you gotta get the idea of, all right, number one over here, right? Pepsi could sell off. So here's Pepsi, it could start to sell off. But Coke could stay relatively flat. You'd make money, why? I want you to think about this, we are short. Pepsi. You want Pepsi to go down and we are long, okay, Coke. We're long Coke, short Pepsi, long Coke, short Pepsi. So what happens? Pepsi comes down, Coke stays flat, you still profit. That's number one. Let's get to number two. Number two, Coke could rally with Pepsi staying relatively flat. So here's Coke, you're long, you're like, it rallies. Coke's, you know, or Pepsi stays relatively flat. You know, Pepsi could even sell off a little bit but you'd still profit, why? Because the two are actually what? They're coming back together. Coke could wrap, uh, rally and Pepsi could sell off. So that could happen. Again, as I just mentioned, one, two, that would work. How else could you make money over there? Coke could sell off and Pepsi could sell off at a faster rate. Well, this is actually a really commonplace thing that happens in pairs trading. You know, Coke is on a downward spiral over here. Yep, that's fine. So Coke goes down as long as Pepsi Okay, accelerates down faster, you're still profitable. How do you lose money? I don't have that on here, but I mean, listen, loss scenarios, how can you actually lose money on here? And this, this is important. The two actually have to diverge further from one another. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a lot of data, okay? And we actually have got ways to statistically compare and we've got indicators to help us with this. Now, that's how you can profit from pairs trades. We okay? Hmm? Again, it's important that you guys understand this because I'm gonna be able to move forward at a pretty good clip here. Pairs trading defined. Pairs trades, they're again, they're termed market neutral. And I've mentioned that like three different times this evening. It means the overall direction of the market, it doesn't really significantly affect the overall profitability or loss of a given trade. Because as we just mentioned, I say, let's say that the market was tanking right now. Okay, you have this pairs trade on, you got this stock and it's just, ah. Uh, but you know what? You have this other stock and it's, ah. Uh, as long as the two are coming back together, Okay, you're profitable. So the exact opposite could be true. Let's say the market was rallying huge. You're like, ooh, market's rallying. You've got another product, oh, it doesn't rally as much. And the two come back together and you're profitable. Pairs trading, it's not about being right or wrong directionally. It's about the relationship and how the correlation plays out. You know, when you get two heavily correlated items, all right, this is like, look, they're moving in relative tandem, right? But what'll happen from time to time is they'll start to diverge and converge. But the one thing, and again, I'm drawing like a little snake over here, right? But the one thing that you'll find out is if you've looked back at the pair from the history of the pair, if you look back at the pair, okay, for the most part, they'll cross over one another continually. And again, there's statistical data that we have to use for that. Now, this is important. So I like, you know, how can you lose, all right? Well, losing on these things is just as important as making money. And we're gonna get into that a little bit deeper here. So some of the basics of pairs trades. The goal 
is to match two trading vehicles that are highly correlated. Now, the reason I picked Coke and Pepsi initially is because, well, everybody's like, oh, it's two soda, it's beverage makers. That's pretty, pretty easy. Do not let the word though correlated scare you, right? You're just looking for stocks or ETFs or index products that move in a heavy relationship to one another. An example of this could be two stocks in the same sector or with just similar business interests. That's it. Okay. The logic of pairs trading. So the logic of pairs to seek out correlated stocks, indices, or products currently displaying a divergence. Let's talk about that divergence again. So you have these two products that are moving in relative tandem and all of a sudden the two products diverge from one another. Okay. And those divergence can actually be measured statistically. And eventually what do they do? They turn around and converge upon one another. So again, the convergence is what you want to catch and you ne your timing, never going to be perfect, but it doesn't have to be because again, we have statistical means to be able to measure this. You buy one product, you sell another short. You're seeking the deeply correlated pair to normalize, which is called mean reversion, whereby coming back into alignment, relationships and correlations, okay, in countless underlyings have been tracked and traded for literally decades. The kind of stuff that we do here is not going to be high risk stuff. Like we don't go out there and like, yeah, so I bought Tesla and I sold Ford. What are you crazy? All right. You think Tesla and Ford are correlated over there? Well, they both build cars. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Maybe Tesla just builds batteries. I don't even know at this point. You know, even stuff like Ford and GM, you won't necessarily get involved in. It's extremely important to know what the relationships are and what the correlations and those are something that I'm going to set up for you. Advantages of pairs trading. The pairs trade helps control market risk. It helps control market risk simply because it doesn't put you at a major directional advantage or disadvantage, meaning that all of a sudden the entire marketplace crashes and burns. Your pairs trade just shrugs its shoulders and goes, yeah, I've seen this one before, but it doesn't matter. If the market or sector crashes, it negates the loss okay, of the long position. Think about that. The short position negates the loss of the long position. Trading strategies independent, okay, again, is said to be market neutral. Independent of market moves is said to be market neutral. We often phrase the pair strategy, the final frontier. Now, this, this is actually a phrase that I've heard a number of traders talk about, okay, these opportunities in pairs trading are seldom sought after by individual clients. I have to ask this question tonight too, because you got hundreds of people on the chat tonight. And have you ever heard of pairs trading? Most of you probably say yes, but have you ever actually tried to employ a pair strategy? How many people can honestly say yes to that? How many of you have really tried to employ a pairs strategy? Okay. And you know, everybody's saying no right now in the why? This is actually something that has been around for decades, okay? One of the most famous firms on the street, okay? I don't mind mentioning the name of the firm. It's named after a river outside of Philly, okay? Susquehanna. One of the most famous firms on the street, they built their entire firm based on pair strategies. The entire firm. They're still, okay, well-known for pair strategies out there. And it's, it's one of the most advantageous, but the reason I kind of call it the final frontier, it's it's untouched. It's untouched on the retail side. It's extremely important over here. So let's also talk about directional risk. So Target. Target has declined 22.54% in the last nine months. Would a pairs trade leave you this exposed? Right? I just wanted to show you, you know, we were talking a lot about directional risks because right now, I mean, you got to be thinking about this. Right now, it's a little frothy in the market. And here is Target that has collapsed down. But would a pairs trade have actually saved you a degree of risk? This is Target versus Walmart. So rather than endure outright risks of owning Target, you could create a pairs trade and offset a significant portion of your risk. Example, you could have been long Walmart, short Tiger, or vice versa, just depending upon what your strategy was. And this would have offset a huge amount of the risk. Look, okay. This happens to be on the top over here, Walmart, which also descended. Target just descended a little bit faster than it, all right? But again, this is opportunity. Walmart versus Target is a huge opportunity. Or, I mean, what most people do is they just suffer a 
and a half percent decline because that's what happened to Target in the last nine months. Literally, the last nine months, Target's down 22 and a half percent. Again, based on the uh, on the previous slide that I just showed you. Again, this is a nine month chart, and you would have been down 22.54 percent if you had actually used the Paris trade. Even if you were long Target, it declined. It would have been down a negligible amount in comparison to the long short of Target versus Walmart. And it's really important to understand that, again, it offsets overall risk in the market. And I know that that's not that exciting of a concept. People are like, oh, yeah, it offsets my risk. Okay, That's one of the most important things in the marketplace. It's not about just making money. First of all, you got to figure out, hey, don't lose. After you figure out the part that I don't want to lose, I don't like losing, and this is a good way not to lose, then and only then can we actually talk about making some money. And I hope you guys see it that way too, because uh, again, right out of school, I worked for a trading firm. I didn't work, you know, sitting behind a computer screen by myself. I had people telling me what to do over there. And the first thing they say to you is, hey, kid, don't screw this up. Don't lose any money. And you're like, okay, I got it. I, I don't want to lose. They go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, what about making money? They go, no, 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 no. We'll talk about that later. You just don't screw up. You don't lose any money. This is something that always resonated with me because everything that I see on the retail side of this business, and that's not a, retail is not a dirty word, but everything I see on the retail side of the business, okay, you're bombarded with emails that are like, make a gazillion dollars with $5,000 in your, it's crazy. I mean, come on. You got to learn strategies. You got to learn tactics. And in stuff that's based on correlation statistics is that's where the edge lies for retail clients today. Finding pairs candidates, competing companies, possible similar sectors, correlation scanning. Yeah, there's correlation scanning and analysis. ETF or index related products often seeing high correlations. Think about this. The spiders versus the NASDAQ, right? So the S&P 500 versus the NASDAQ, are they correlated? Of course they're correlated. Okay. I mean, we can just go all night long with what's correlated out there, but more importantly, let's actually go out there and build some of this, the ebb and flow of pairs trade. So divergence, when the price of an asset, okay, does what? Moves in opposite direction. So when we're talking about divergence, and you've heard me mention this a few times, divergence, one of the stocks goes up, one of the stocks starts to go down, they have diverged. Convergence, when the two start coming back together again. Oh, happy days are here again. You guys want to see a real divergence? Hmm? Anybody, anybody, anybody? So I can show you opportunity and divergence. This is the spiders versus the IWM. Okay. In fact, I think I have that pulled up on a real chart. <gasps> there it is. This happens to be the Thinkorswim trading application, but this is just a chart. It's a one-year chart. You want to see what an opportunity looks like? Well, let me sketch the opportunity for you on the live application. This too are basically hugging one another like it's grim death. They're starting to go through a little bit of what? Divergence, all of a sudden they come back together and then they've expanded huge by huge right now. This is an opportunity. Opportunity be what? Short this, okay? Long this and we come back together, hopefully. But you can't just look at this and be like, yes, I will do this trade. It's ridiculous, you can't do that. You actually have to base this on some type of data out there. And that's what we're going to talk about here. Divergence creates opportunity. This is the IWM versus the spider. Okay. The product moves in relative tandem over time. This is this happens to be a six month chart, but um, you can go back 20 years and these two cross each other continuously over the last 20 years. But right now, again, since the presidential election, there is all kinds of pairs opportunity. And I'm the one who wanted to do the class on pairs because the timing of it is just beautiful. Structure the pairs trade. The pairs trade is structured by being long security and short another. In our spider versus IWM, you short IWM and long spider, right? Short IWM, long spider. Hopefully they come back together. Now, selling shares short, owning shares. Remember, this can be done with stocks, options, and futures. If you don't have the capital, to go out there and short shares of the IWM, you know, hey, I get it, okay? Structure the pairs trade continue. Don't get too excited. This ain't as easy as IWM and buy spider. You know, you can't just go out. IWM's a $134 product. Now, I think I put this slide to get together about a uh, about a week ago, but um, yeah, again, if you want to see the uh, the real quotes over here, why not, right? We got some real, real quotes. IWM now is a $135 product. But, okay, 
IWM is a $134 product. Spider's a $226 product. Pairs trading is about how to convert and trade one product versus another. And there's a whole lot of factors in play. Okay, Why is IWM different than the Spider's? It has higher volatility. But the shares are, you know, what? A mm, little bit more than half the price out there. And you got to learn how to convert one into the other. Trading pairs with options. So maybe you don't have the capital to buy stock and short another stock. Or maybe you're trading in an IRA or tax deferred account. You can't create short positions. Again, you got to think about that, right? You just can't go out and short stock anywhere you want. It's an IRS regulation. People always think it's the brokerage firms that don't let you short stock in the IRA. That is not true. It is an IRS regulation. That IRS specifically states you can't hold a short position inside of a retirement account. Have no fear. Pair strategies can be equally as powerful using the fine risk options and vertical spread, you know, trades. I know it's it, some people are like, oh, that sounds a little crazy. It's not, it's not gonna be all fancy. You just substitute the underlying stock or ETF with option spreads. It's just a matter of minutes. All right. And yeah, with options, I said the O word. You got to learn a little bit about the options, but that's, yeah, that's par for the course. Okay. Pairs, they're everywhere. I like this one. Okay. People think about like gold versus silver. Well, I thought about gold miners versus the gold ETF. I think that's kind of a cool one. The gold miners versus the gold ETF. Heavy relationships exist within similar products. Why not? All right. And listen, the two have actually diverged. I took this screenshot just a couple of days ago. The two products, they've diverged. You guys think about it. What other pairs could you create? Right? Again, you can compare all kinds of different products out there. So let's do this pairs thing. All right, let's build a trade. GLD versus GDX. GLD. By the way, that's gold. Okay. It's GLD. What does it stand for? Gold that you don't get to keep. <laughs> if you guys are familiar with GLD. It's an ETF product. You buy GLD and then they hold the gold for you. I always thought that was kind of strange. Here's the problem though, okay? See, GLD is a $115 product. GDX is a $24 product, but they have four times the volatility inside of the GDX, the gold miners. Don't let this stuff, okay? Again, the key to pairs is knowing how to align the two underlyings into one happy couple. That's, you know, the whole thing about like pairs trading that really eludes a lot of people. You gotta learn how to tie these little monkeys together, okay? To make this like how many shares of, we'll call this X would equal how many shares, for instance, of Y. Maybe maybe X and Y are two horrible examples because people are like, it's algebra. It don't worry, the math is not gonna get that bad, all right? Uh, we'd never have you guys doing like calculus in, in uh, you know, some evening session that we're doing here. But the whole thing over here is actually converting one product to another. But the other thing that you have to do is you have to actually set up and make sure, statistically speaking, that these are good trades. And when you look, okay, and, and again, we're just looking visually and we're like, yes, there's an opportunity. But what happens if we actually had real statistical data? And we do. We have real statistical data. You can actually measure and say, this is a good time to enter a pairs trade. Finding happy pairs. Use what's called a comparison chart. You can use a pairs correlation, statistical data, scanning for opportunities, aligning shares of your pairs, aligning shares of your pairs. Don can show you how to do all of this over there, right? So yeah, anybody else have another one? By the way, somebody was saying, could you show me a scan? Can you show me this? You know what? I got a couple of minutes and I'm actually going to show you a few things on this. And then we're actually going to show you another, another one. So here's one that I like right now. Okay. And I'm going to set this up and I'm just going to walk you through it. Here's one that I really, really like right now. I'm going to type in the XLF, XLF. Okay. What's the XLF? It's financial sector. And I'm going to compare the financial sector to the XRT, which happens to be retail. Hit apply, hit okay. Now, Look at this one over the last year. Financials versus retail. This is sweet. These things have been so heavily correlated and all of a sudden, boom, divergence. What caused it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe something called the election. The election is, I'm telling you, after the election, these heavily, heavily correlated products all of a sudden diverge. They're all coming back in alignment. By the way, this, okay, this pair is starting to converge upon one another. Now, people ask me, well, like, how do I know that this is 
Like, just looking at this is one thing, right? But how do you really know? You guys want to see this? Hmm? Anybody? Anybody? You guys want to see how to do this? We're going to do XLF minus, you're going to love this. Don't, don't get too confused. XLF minus XRT. Enter. Okay. Then we're actually going to switch the chart. We're going to load up a funky little pairs correlation that I built. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to remove that RSI over there. Okay. What you're looking at over here is a pairs standard deviation. Okay. And this little study, what it ultimately does, okay, is allows you to look back at a pair, and I'll even look over the last three years, and it shows you, statistically speaking, how far stretched the pair happens to be. You can see the pair, this is actually what they call a pair correlation, okay? I can teach all of this over here. The pair correlation, this is a highly correlated pair most of the time. They diverge and they come back together, and they diverge and come back together. But what you're looking at down here, this is actually almost three deviations. What that basically means is this Right here is where the pair is supposed to be most of the time. This is what they call the median or the mode, right? That's like the average out here is never, never land. And they're so widely diverged right now. And once you have like data like this, I think it makes this, this whole job a lot easier. That's what statistical data, okay? Yeah, you can scan for this, but not just comparison charts called the pairs correlation and it's standard deviation. And then don't let that standard deviation like, really scare you. And yeah, you could put tons and tons of stuff up there. I mean, you name it. Somebody said Chevron and Exxon Mobil. Hey, I got a better one for you. Why do Chevron and Exxon Mobil? Why don't you do Exxon Mobil versus the XLE, which is the energy sector itself? Okay. I actually do that trade frequently. Okay. In fact, I have part of it on right now. I actually have a position and I'm short 700 shares of the XLE. And what I'm actually doing in the XLE, here's the XLE minus XOM, okay? I'll actually scalp in and out of ExxonMobil against my XLE. Now, I know this looks like a kind of a strange chart, and give me some time, and of course, we can explain this. As I said, Don can show you how to do all of this. But, again, a little bit limited time. We gotta move on. How about one more pairs-related strategy? Yeah? Option geeks rejoice! For here is a pairs trade just for you. I put this together, okay? So I'm a little bit of an option geek. Listen, I trade stocks, options, futures, currency futures. I don't care. I'm an equal opportunity exploiter of markets out there. I don't care what I trade as long as I can trade it. But uh, for option geeks, I think you'll enjoy this. It's a pairs trade, high probability split iron condor strategy. Hmm? The logic of the split iron is identical to an iron condor. It's actually spread in two separate products. Ideally, split pairs irons are designed for deployment within index and index-related products or ETFs. The trade design. Sell an out-of-the-money call spread in the product that's strong. Sell an out-of-the-money put spread in a separate but correlated weaker product. Now, I built this one for you guys. And by the way, this is a real trade. Like built this one earlier today. So this one happens to be the SPX versus the Russell, the SPX versus the Russell. And what I did is I sold a call spread in the Russell. Okay. If you remember the Russell chart, the Russell chart was like whoosh, up here and the SPX chart was like whoosh, down here. So I sold puts, okay, sold puts out here in the SPX, turned around and sold calls up here inside of the what? Inside of the Russell. So you basically, you're shorting the over overcooked chicken and you're selling puts in the undercooked chicken out there. So it actually increases the probability of a standardized iron condor out there. Huh? Okay, it's pretty cool to be able to look at stuff like this. This is actually what it looks like from a profit and loss graph. So again, I'm selling an SPX put spread and selling a Russell call spread, okay? And you actually, you have to do one then the other, but you do them in the same day. Executing this trade takes a little bit of thought and a lot of you guys have done iron condors. Out of curiosity, how many of you have done an iron condor? Because I've got detailed criteria for all of this. And if, even if you've never done an iron condor before, but you have some options experience, some basic options experience, 
you can actually put this trade together. And again, this trade, it's got a really, really wide, okay, profit and loss zone. You're collecting a buck 35 here, dollar 50 there. It's not a huge windfall profitability, okay? But this marketplace, you know, hey, go out and pick up a couple of nickels and dimes in front of a bulldozer. But it's actually deploying the pair's logic to an iron condor, and it's what I call a high probability split iron condor strategy. It's kind of a fun one. And again, when you start looking at the chart over here, let's go back to a uh, to a standardized chart. Bear with me as I bring bring this up once again. So I'm going to bring up the uh, the SPX. Okay, this is the S and P's, and I'm going to go over here. Or here, this will even be easier. Let's just go in here. Go to style. I know I've got a style. Okay, what have I got over here? Let's just remove one. Okay, what you're looking at right now is the spider versus the IWM. Okay, that's again the spiders versus the IWM. It's the same thing as the SPX and the Russell. So I wanted to show you. Okay, why did I just choose the spiders? I chose the spiders and I chose the IWM because they're more obtainable products. The spider, you know, is this $200 product. The IWM is like a $130 product. Anybody could trade these. You could have a $2,000 account and you could trade in these products over here. But when you see this really, really large divergence, we're selling options out here and we're selling options out here related to this product and we're selling options out here related to this product. So you're selling out of the money calls in the overbought product and you're selling out of the money puts in a product that's actually lackluster. Could you lose in this trade? Of course you could, okay? But it gives you a slightly higher or increased probability because you're deploying this into the pairs world. And again, it's a great like twist to the general iron condor, which so many people have struggled with. You know, it's a high probability split iron condor strategy. And there's a bunch of different ways though and different products you could deploy this in. I just wanted to show you the S&P versus the Russell because it's the most blatant one. But fear not the pairs trade. You know, you may not know pairs trading or just, you know, you maybe have limited experience in placing any trades, but you know, we can show you how and when to place a pair spread in a matter of a few hours. Like just don't let some of the pair stuff intimidate you. What we do here at Theotrade, we create really detailed recipes for every single strategy, including pairs trades. We we enter into like pairs trades, you know, step one. Okay. This is the products that you would possibly select. Step number two. I mean some of the stuff for pairs trading, you know, it's literally for pairs trading, there's like 15 steps. Again, don't let that intimidate you. Some of the stuff is as easy as, did you check if earnings were coming out? Okay, check, okay? And it's it's the same thing. It's akin to, you know, you wouldn't bake a cake without a recipe, so don't trade without one. You know, one of the reasons I always mention like a recipe or I, I talk about like detailed recipes, it's a checklist, okay? And it's a checklist similar to, well, this is a checklist over here, but it's a checklist similar to like what a pilot would do before taking off. I mean, they literally go through a checklist, you know, ch step one, step two. Why? Because uh, they don't want to put their life and everybody else's life at risk on an airplane. It's the same thing inside of trading. You know, you have to have some type of definitive recipe. And if you don't, if you don't have a game plan in trading, people have like this, this game plan in mind, okay? You just can't have a game plan in mind. Like you actually have to have a structured and detailed plan out there. But you know, when it comes to pairs trading, everybody, why doesn't everybody do this? Because you got to know all these factors over here. All right. What are some of the factors involved? What stocks or ETFs can you do this on? What is, what's liquid enough? How do I determine what to pair together? Position sizing of critical importance, too big, dead meat, right? Aligning the two underlyings into one pairs trade. How many shares, okay, for instance, of XOM do I need versus the XLE. How many shares do you need? What's the correct correlation for the trade? That basically means literally, okay, how far back do I go? Are these products correlated 80% of the time? Okay. Can I do this with options? Yeah, well, I just showed you that, all right? And which options do I use? Eh, that's always the key. How do I execute the trade? You know, you realize if you're going out there and buying Exxon Mobil and shorting XLE, you kind of have to execute either two trades, but did you know you could actually do this as one trade? A lot of people don't know that. Huh? You guys want to see that really quick? 
you can execute stuff as, as one trade. And again, I don't want to deviate too much, but like literally you can come in here and you can go things like X, L, F minus X, R, T equals. Okay. And you can, you know, you can do this and you could go two, okay, times X, L, F minus X, R, T. You can actually enter both orders at the same time. By the way, I, I was trading a little bit earlier today, but you can enter both orders as one. Buy 200 shares of this, sell 200 shares of that, or vice versa. This is the kind of stuff like you better know how to do, right? You don't, you don't survive in parish trading without like basic execution skills. When do you exit? What do you do in a losing position? What delta do I use to sell options in a high probability split iron condor? You got to love that. That's what we do. That's what we do at Theotrade. We just build the criteria for you. So trading is about answering all the what ifs. You know, what makes good setups and candidates for a pairs trade? How do you buy one stock, sell another? Committing capital. If I, you know, trade pairs options, what strike options do you use? Like the strike price, what expiration cycle? Okay, we got the answers to all of that. All right, all the recipes have that definitive criteria and those checklists with the recipe, like literally from like A, B, C, D, and every single step in between so that you don't make a simple mistake. And again, I was mentioning like, you know, a moment ago, I said, what about earnings? You know, kind of want to, kind of want to avoid that. By the way, will I cover futures? Of course. Futures, you have to. Futures, you have to know how many NASDAQ futures are equivalent to how many, for instance, S&P futures. This is just the beginning of all the variables you're gonna face while constructing a pairs trade over there. I always say the secret's in the sauce. You know, you can read about pairs trades. You can go actually on Google and you could probably Google pairs trades. And this is no, this is no joke. You will pull up like 50,000 returns on pairs trades. What they don't have though is they're just like, they're gonna offer like, well, in a mathematical structure, you know, here's what a pair trade is. There's probably 500 different, um, university level classes. Speaking of university level classes, one of our instructors here, you know, Theotrade is just, it's not just me. It's not just Don Kaufman. Theotrade is Jeffrey Bierman. If you guys don't know Jeffrey Bierman, he's also a professor, okay, of finance at Loyola. Irony is we were just talking about this. He's going to be doing a class in pairs trading. Okay. And a lot of the stuff that we're doing here at Theotrade, we're using the same stuff, except he has an entire semester to go through it. And they, they make them take tests on it. It's wonderful over here. If you go like, I could give you a test on this. But we spent months fine-tuning the trade setup and the criteria. So you got to follow steps. Just you make sure you follow the steps to be able to build a trade. And would you guys like the criteria on a pairs trade? It's coming up, okay? We're actually doing a class on pairs trading. And it's coming up. And apparently I did not put it in this particular slide deck over here. And I'll show you here momentarily exactly what that is. So bear with me as I uh, throw this into the slide. The class is coming up uh, literally this week here. So let me pop the exact time into the chat room over there. There we go. Saturday, February 4th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. New York time. So the class is supposed to be about three hours legitimately the class is most likely going to run about four hours. I hope that's okay. You know, I'm, I'd rather like overwhelm than underwhelm along with the pairs class. By the way, the pairs class, it's 197 bucks and you're going to be overwhelmed what you're going to get for $197. Like again, I'd rather you be overwhelmed than underwhelmed. In addition to the pairs class, we're also going to get you ready for the pairs class. Uh, there's multiple classes. We're calling them bonus years. There's multiple classes that we're giving you with the pairs class. By the way, yes, the pairs class on Saturday, it is the day before the Super Bowl, okay? The class is recorded. All of the criteria and checklist is available immediately for download. The class is available immediately with unlimited access. So if you go to the class live, you can watch the class a thousand different times, okay, thereafter. And again, criteria, if there's ever an update in criteria, we'll update it to you. Uh, again, the class is recorded out there for those of you that cannot make it live. It's 197 bucks. Just go to theotrade.com forward slash pairs. But let me explain the other classes that come with it. Because I felt that pairs is a little bit in depth, 
we're actually offering a pairs trading 101. This is just, it's part of it, all right? And by the way, you go into this tonight. Like, you don't have to wait. If you want to go into it tonight, go into it tonight. It's the pairs 101. Pairs 101, it's a three-part correlation and comparison series, okay? One of them actually talks about, we talk about is um, correlation is not causation. If you know what that means, fantastic. If you don't, you're going to learn. So basically everything that's correlated doesn't necessarily mean it's really correlated and you'll learn about that. It also teaches you how to build different comparison charts really on any brokerage platform out there. And it gets you used to the idea, okay, of pairs trades. The second thing, options 201, because we are doing the split, okay, iron condor strategy during the pairs class, we will actually talk about an iron condor strategy. It was essential then to give you the options 201 class. It involves verticals. Even if you guys understand options, please listen to some of the options 201. It's a five part series. Okay, if you've already been through it, phenomenal. You guys will love it. Okay. In addition to it, there's a part of the pairs class, somebody already asked this, that mentions futures contracts. So I gave you an introduction to futures products with this. So literally there are four classes, but the pairs trading, that's a three part series. The options 201 is a five part series. The introduction to futures products, okay, you got me. That one's only about two hours, but it's uh, again, a huge amount of material it's just $197. And we do this, we want to introduce people, okay, the right way to trade. Moreover, and something I did not mention a little bit earlier, and people always look at the price tag and they're like, eh, it's 197 bucks, you know, how are they doing it so inexpensively? We refer our clientele at TheoTrade to a number of brokerage firms and the brokerage firms, okay, ultimately compensate us Okay. Yes, we do refer clientele to TD Ameritrade, but that is not the only brokerage firm that we work with. And, and I tell you right up front, yes, the brokerage firms compensate us, but it offsets the cost of your education. And I'm telling you right now, there are not any other brokerage firms doing this with educational partners. Okay. They don't sit there and compensate just because we're sending them clientele out there right? We're sending them good clientele doing viable trades. And it's, it's a really important portion of our business model here at TheoTrade. And, you know, listen, I ran the education of TD Ameritrade and 7 million clients. And people, why did you leave? Because the regulations are terrible. That's why I left. Okay. We can now do an unregulated version of the education that we did at the brokerage firm for so many years. And again, we actually get to speak our mind. We get to put you through definitive criteria. None of that stuff can the brokerage firms do. And that's why we partner with a couple of brokerage firms and send our clients their way. The theotrade.com forward slash pairs. That's the site you go to theotrade.com forward slash pairs to enroll for it. But here's some of the curriculum. The curriculum for the final frontier pairs trading. We're going to get into the best pairs trading setups, okay? Complete advantage of a non-directional market neutral strategy. Why correlations are snapping back into alignment. As I showed you after the election, wow, there are correlations that have been around for decades that broke apart, okay? And there's just huge opportunities in here. Pairs trades can be done with stocks, options, ETFs, and futures, okay? You can trade, and by the way, you can actually trade with less than $5,000. I always put the $5,000 in there to feel comfortable. You, could, you know, as long as you have two grand in your account, you can trade option strategies. That's it. You have to have $2,000. That's not my rule. That's actually a FINRA rule to be able to use spreads and mitigate your risk. Additional curriculum over here, how to build, okay, your own pairs trading systematic setups, okay? There are, if you do have the Thinkorswim trading application, I will give you a link and give you all of my charts. Okay, people always ask, so like, is there going to be something I'm going to have to buy? You know, you don't buy anything other than the class here. Okay, if there's if there's like some piece of technical analysis, we give it to you. Okay, that's we're not about like you know upsell here and upsell there. Listen, it's 197 bucks for the class. You're not going to go wrong. It includes all the step by step criteria so you build your own unique pairs trade. How pairs trading puts statistical odds in your favor. And you'll learn a lot about reversion to the mean over here. Curriculum again, this is a long class, right? Discover why trading market relationships and not direction. It's really been a go-to 
strategy of a lot of hedge funds. As I said, trading firm Susquehanna has used this for decades and really how pairs trading negates market risks. And, and moreover, one of the things I do not even have in here that I should is we're going to talk about the, you know, the split iron condor during the class over there. It's, this is a great, and I believe relatively safe way to generate very consistent returns. It's going to take a little homework initially, but as I started off, anything worth doing, okay, it's not going to be instant coffee and instant tea. If it's worth doing, you have to put forth some effort. Now, I also offer, would you like access to every class that we've ever done? It's a lot. And access to every class we will do for the next year. Here's what's included in a Theo Trade curriculum. So again, we have the class, it's $197, okay? That $197 class includes, I'm gonna go through it, all the different classes including Futures 101, right? It includes, you know, Options 201, okay? It includes, again, the Pairs 101, or we give you an offer to everything we've ever done here at Theotrade. Now, there's a lot of classes that we've done. We set up a curriculum. So if you go to theotrade.com forward slash pairs, you will see what this curriculum happens to be. Go to theotrade.com forward slash pairs. When we say every class that we've ever done, we charge you $997 for one year of access. Now, one year of access gives you okay, a minimum, a minimum of one class a month. By the way, here in February, okay, in the month of February, which is starting tomorrow, we have a pairs class, we have a technical analysis class, okay, we have a futures class coming up. These are all independent of what I'm talking about. I mean, our calendar is totally booked. We have class after class after class. These are some of the classes we've already done. These are classes if you want. You can go home and start, you know, well, you probably are home. You can be at home tonight and you start watching them. Options 101, if you know nothing about options. Options 301, ooh, volatility essentials, one of my personal favorites. Guide to selling high probability spreads. This is actually the risk twist class. This right here, the next big short class, okay, that is, it's almost a four-hour class. That class alone is worth the cost of the membership for the entire year. The class is actually designed to mitigate your risk in the event of a very quick market collapse over here. So it's something that we do and talk about constantly. We call it a risk twist spread. We also have got a class that I did on surviving extreme volatility. We also have an iron condor class, a sell premium and manage risk, okay? That five hours, okay, of hardcore, again, each one of these classes, you can go anywhere. I don't care what educational firm you go to. They're going to charge you a thousand bucks per class. It will not touch some of the stuff that we're doing in these classes. One class, they, they will not touch it. Okay. Covered calls, income generation for your stocks. Here's an essential skills for consistency in trading class, a weekly options class. I'm actually going to do a number of classes around weekly options, butterfly class, Okay, then we get into technical analysis 101 for those of you that are into charts, fractal energy class, which is another technical analysis class, an RSI Laguerre unleashed class. Okay, planner gets slaughtered, increasing vertical spread probabilities with technical, small account trading workshops. You know, here's actually Doc Severson, the top 10 skills for growing a small account. Okay, and again, minimum of a class a month. In February, we're going to do three classes. That's ultimately what we do here at Theotrade. That's part of the curriculum. And let me actually show you guys what the page looks like. By the way, this is theotrade.com forward slash pairs. And I'll, uh, I'll pop this up here momentarily for you. Um, again, if you want to go to the pairs class, please join us for the pairs class, $197. Okay. And again, we went through the curriculum. In addition to the curriculum, we just added Okay, and I, I felt pretty strongly about this. I got so many questions about the pairs class in the last couple of days. We actually added the split high probability iron condor to it. Okay, and yes, it comes with pairs trading 101, options 201, okay, futures 101. Okay, if you are so inclined and you would like to go through our entire curriculum, and I really do highly suggest this, 
it's $997. And I want to be clear about something. There's no additional fees beyond that. You know, there's nothing else you can buy here at Theotrade other than, okay, the, the again, it gives you 12-month access. But at 12-month access, it also gives you access to all the classes that we've already done. And that's what's in here. In addition to that, just so we're all clear, not only do we have those classes, and I know that this stuff is, is really very, very overwhelming. The first time you see it, you're like, really? That many classes? Well, well you got... You got over a year to go through it, okay? Take all the time you need, right? The classes are just, they're there for you. But in addition to the classes, if you have the time, okay? If you have the time, we also have a chat room. You can go there every single day. It's just part of it. We have a live trading room, right? You can sit there with us all day long if you want. We trade all day. Today, I traded in the room a lot today, okay? I don't usually trade every, you know, a lot in the room, but today I traded. Today I actually fired off a couple of positions in here, some stuff in the SPX, okay? I'm just scrolling through, did it like a strangle. I bought a strangle for 215, scalped it off for 225, the other side of it for buck 25. It was a party out there. But again, we trade throughout the course of the day. And again, it's not just me. It's myself, it's Doc Severson, it's Tony Rago. You know who also works here is Slim Miller, okay? All of these, we don't have like just, you know, again, a lot of education firms. There's one instructor. You know, at Theotrade, we have myself, which is Don Kaufman. We have Doc Severson. We have Tony Rago. We have Slim Miller. Okay. We have Jeff Bierman. We have a number of authors on staff. We have five instructors doing classes and participating in the chat room every single day. And that's what's important. In addition to it, okay, if you miss anything, we archive everything. Right. We also, we do email out trade ideas. People always ask that. Okay. In fact, we have a number of different trade ideas that we'll email out. If you need studies or scans, you know, sometimes people are like, well, here's a study. Okay. Here's a proprietary study. Yeah. We give those away. Okay. We don't, we don't need no stinking proprietary. It's just part of it. I enjoy giving away the studies over there. It's just, listen, the code, there's nothing proprietary. There's no sacred cow in this business. I've been doing this too long. Like you, you need, what you need is what you need. You shouldn't have somebody charging you more. I need more. Okay, good. Then you get more and you can email us for help. I mean, again, these are some of the other classes. We've already done a cash secured puts and we're going to do calendar spreads and we're having a number of futures trading classes and here's the pairs trading class right now. But all of this is, uh, is part of Theo trade. So I want to be, uh, again, very, very clear about this and let me throw up the, uh, I'm going to answer a couple of questions here momentarily, but. Again, this site that you're looking at right now, it's theotrade.com forward slash pairs. If you need to email us, support theotrade.com. Okay, that's all of our email addresses. So we just basically allocate the emails. You can even call us 800-256-8876. I know a lot of people just like to do stuff. By the way, instead of, uh, if you don't like calling, okay, look, there's this little chat window right here. It says, we are here. Okay, and you can just start, you can chat with us. That's, it is staffed live right now, okay? We do that because we're here to support you. But let me answer a couple of questions that are uh, coming up over here. Somebody, can I see you in Scottsdale? Yeah, I'm in Scottsdale. I mean, hey, you know, uh, John, I think you asked earlier about Bud Light, if you're ever available for a beer out there. Uh, I am here, okay? Uh, listen, I don't look like that much. I, uh... Go out once in a while. I'm a soccer mom on the weekends and uh, I trade a lot. You know, I, you know, people ask, like, why'd you get out of Chicago? Have you been to Chicago in February? It sucks. I got out of there. Uh, that's why I'm in Scottsdale. Funny thing, though, I uh, go to a breakfast place the other day. There are more traders, I think, now in Scottsdale than there are in Chicago. And I'm, I'm laughing about it because, no joke, we're, a guy actually stopped. I had um, I had a late lunch with a gentleman from Chicago that flew out here, and I had a late lunch with him a couple of weeks ago. It was right over like the uh, the holidays, um, and he stood in the OEX pit for many many years. We ran into a number of other traders here, and it uh, apparently they all live here now. So the trading pit has uh, resumed, and apparently it's in Scottsdale, Arizona. So, all right, let's um, oh, I like it. Okay, let's, uh, let's go through a couple of questions because there's, there's always a couple of general questions and I've got a couple on here right now. 
Uh, the first one comes from Adam. I can't make it live with a class be recorded. Yeah, everything's recorded. In fact, you know, not only is, you know, just the, the pairs trade in class recorded, everything from Theo trade is recorded. And it's kind of cool because it's, um, we use uh, DVR technology. So even if you're during the class, you can actually rewind during the class. In fact, if you ever want to see what the uh, what the chat room looks like here, this is what it looks like. This is this would be, you know, I know I've had all blown up over here, but this is an actual video screen. And this is the chat room. Okay, look at this. These guys are firing off trades. Like these trades, they're real trades. Okay, this is what the chat room looks like all day long. Okay. And again, you just keep loading up messages and I'm chatting in there and Doc's chatting in there and Tony's chatting in there, okay? That's what our chat room is about, okay? And as you scroll through here, you will see dozens and dozens of trades being populated in here. And you, you can even put your picture in there too. There's a paw print. Um, but we have a really, really nice community in here. By the way, Tony, the letter R stands for Rego. He's actually talking trades the entire session. And again, if you can't be there all day, that's fine. Like, I don't mean to intimidate you. But then when it comes to archiving things, we have something called, well, the archives. If you want like Jeff Bierman, check out his archive. He has his own archive. We have Slim, Slim Miller's archive, Doc Severson archive. Here's all the different classes. You just go into the class archive. And when you go into the class archive, pick a class. Again, enroll tonight you know, for, uh, for Theo trade and go check out. Here's Paris Trading 101, Futures 101. Maybe you want to go for something a little bit different, like, you know, here's the, uh, the next big short. By the way, you go into any, any of these archives, okay? Here's the different pieces of the class. There's where you click to download the slide deck, right? Nice, it's clean. It tells you part one, the exact length of the videos over here. Everything is there for you, okay? We don't really leave anything to chance and we're highly organized when it comes to archiving all of our courses and course material, okay? Oh, will the indicators be shown in the class? Yeah, of course, any indicators. And, and by the way, I really stress this. So I spent, I spent like 15 years in Thinkorswim. So we do at times build indicators for other trading applications. Predominantly, we do build for Thinkorswim, but I don't, listen, some people are joining us from overseas and they, you know, we know interactive brokers, okay? We even know Charles Schwab. We know all those, like the trade station over there. We know them all, right? So yeah, whatever. If we have indicators, we'll give them to you. In fact, when I talk about like different indicators over here, I got a lot. I have a lot of customized studies and so forth. Like any one of these styles, as I said, you want something, you got it. I think what you guys are talking about was this one. Here's the RSI of the gear, okay? This is the pair standard deviation, a pair correlation. Here, you just share it, right? You just go over here and go share and it's yours. That's it, that's all we do. And we'll do it, of course, during the class, it's yours over there, okay? Um, by the way, I like this. The next question comes from Jonathan. Can't get your head wrapped around options. Will I be able to follow along in the class? Absolutely. If you can't get your head wrapped around the options, that's why. Okay, we offer the options 201. It's to get you kind of, you know, keyed up before the class and kind of in tune prior to the class over there. So that one's an easy one. And and again, when it comes to like options, that's always been like, I live and breathe options. This pairs class, we talk about stocks, options, futures, and I trade everything, but I think it's important to, to know that. Um, all right, by the way, uh, Lorraine asked a question here. I don't have that much time. Uh, I work full time. Will I be able to do this? Yes, absolutely. So I showed you a live trading room. For those of you that do have all day, you can sit in the trading room with us all day. If you don't, listen, all the stuff that we do is very, very hands off. And we'll email out different trade ideas that, and when we email something out, these are not trade ideas it's like, gotta do it now, okay? Everybody wants to kind of be spoon fed some trades. So we do, we let you guys follow along with our trades over there. But the trades that we email out are not the intense trades that we're doing like intraday. So just be aware of that. Absolutely. Okay. It's, it's important so that you know just that. So by the way, the daily and coaching sessions recorded. Yeah. And you can rewind what we're talking to. It's pretty cool, right? And when I say everything's recorded, I mean, literally everything. Is this recorded? Yes. This is being recorded. Um, 
Oh, I like this next one. Deborah, a swing trade stocks. Has this class going to help me? You watch the pairs class, you're never going to want to swing trade again <laughs> because you're going to find out swing trading has huge risk. It's predominantly with swing trading, you're holding overnight. So if you're going to hold overnight, you're actually holding one position against another. It's reducing the risk. You will really appreciate, Deborah, this class, and it's going to get you less risk with the same possibility and returns, and that's important. All right. So it's, um, yeah. Oh, I like this one. The uh, One of the next questions that came in here is from Neil. And uh, he has spent thousands of dollars at other educators for the privilege of following their classes and trades into the toilet. Okay. Um, you know, we hear that constantly. Again, we built TheoTrade to have a very different approach to the education. Like people have a certain standard that they, they're they looking for in education. We try to exceed everything that you've ever seen out there before in terms of market education. Um, all the instructors here at TheoTrade have a minimum of 15 years. I mean, Slim Miller, he's got 42 years of experience in the markets. And he's in our chat room every single day. And Tony Rago and Jeff Bierman. Jeff actually knows more about technical analysis and studies than any other individual I have ever met. I worked with Jeff for seven years at Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade prior to bringing him on here at Theotrade. By the way, a bunch of us left like Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade, not because it was like, it was actually a great place to work. They left us alone. But the problem in the brokerage world, it was, it was regulated. It just, you know, eventually you wake up one day, you're like, I've had enough of a guy breathing down my neck telling me what I can and can't say. So what did we do? We packed up and we started Theo Trade, you know, and it's, you know, I think you guys are going to find this is education done right. We do our best every single day to kind of bring it. Again, you go in here and you can join us tomorrow morning. Okay. So when I say tomorrow morning, you want to join me tomorrow morning, go into the Total Theo 12 month mentorship and come into the chat room tomorrow morning. Check it out. Okay. I'm live tomorrow for the first two hours of the trading day. By the way, on Wednesday, I do two hours in the morning and people ask that too. They're like, do you do a lot of the chats in there? I do a minimum of an hour a day, okay? Maybe I travel three or four times in an entire year, but I do a minimum of an hour a day. On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I do two hours a day in the chat room. Uh, Jeff Bierman will be on tomorrow morning. Uh, I believe we'll have Slim Miller on tomorrow. Uh, we'll have Tony Rago. We'll have Doc Severson in the chat room. And we're even doing a nighttime session tomorrow. All right, we do a what's called a Wednesday happy hour. So um, yeah, I mean, again, it's a pretty full day, but I'll tell you after the first day over there, you'll be exhausted, but you're going to learn a lot. So anyway, let's uh, see if there's any other detailed class uh, questions over here. So, um, oh, I like this. Um, yeah, if the pair breaks apart a little bit, we're going to talk about that in detail at the class over there. I like that. By the way, if you guys ever are in Scottsdale, just email us. Okay, we don't mind uh, meeting you for a uh, a beer or a sandwich or a cup of coffee. Okay, it's uh, all good with us. With that, looks like I covered almost all the uh, the questions over there. And if you have more, of course, you can uh, email us. Right, you can also go right directly to theotrade.com forward slash pairs. Talk to us in the chat room. You could email us. You can give us a call. We'll answer anything that you need over there. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. I know I went about 15 minutes over, but I really wanted to cover some of those questions. Thank everybody that's joined us here at TheoTrade, from Doc Severson to Jeff, okay, Stacy, all of our uh, help and support that's on tonight. Thanks, everybody, for joining me this evening, and I uh, really do hope to see you on Saturday at the Paris class. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.